5.38 a.m. Yep. Time to get going. Because it's summer. And it's time to hit the road. <laughs> Let's get doing. So we are just right now getting on the freeway. And uh, up before almost the rest of the world, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the lighting ain't gonna play with me. Up nice and early. It is currently just almost 7 a.m hitting the road, gotta go north uh, to take care of some school stuff before I'm making the long journey back south, three hours down to Grand Rapids, um, and it'll be airplane time. I haven't been on an airplane since 2019, my trip to Cali. I haven't been in an airport by myself before, and uh, it's the last time um, I just... It's gonna be my second time flying ever, so I'm nervous, but I think I'm gonna be fine. The excitement cannot be held. So the plan for today is, I gotta go north, I gotta take one of my other final exams, because uh, I only have this week to do it, and by the time I got there last night, they decided to pull a fast one and close three hours early. So I'm getting them right in the morning. Um, and what I'm gonna go from there, is once I finish that, I gotta drive down back south, and I'm getting on the plane, flying to MCO, Florida International Airport, and then uh, and then the plan is to get an Uber, go to this hotel that I booked at night for, only tonight, and then the rest of the crew is gonna be there tomorrow. So they'll be picking me up and bringing me to the convention hotel. And then Friday, Friday's when the business really starts, guys. I hope you're as excited as I am. I haven't been to a con in five years, and even then I was 16 and I had to go with my father. So this is a, this is a huge event for me because there is no more roadblocks. The last week's been kind of a nightmare, but now it's happening. It's not that nothing can change that now. I shouldn't say that. Something totally bad could happen, but uh, that would be my luck. But as of right now, everything's good. It is goddamn foggy today. So, that is an exam done and taken care of, which means up next, uh, actually I got two and a half hours to kill. It is only 9.30, um, and my plane doesn't leave till 6.07, so I actually have a lot of time to kill, but it's a three hour drive down to Grand Rapids, and besides that, um, I need to be at the terminal early. I'm hoping to be there at three o'clock, which is three hours early, so that's Gives me two and a half hours, not including that driving period, uh, to, I don't know, whatever I end up doing. So I got to get something from my friend, so I might be stopping by my house very, very quickly. Um, and I got to hit a few stores, but other than that, I have a lot of time to kill, so I don't know. I'll see what's up. Okay, so, uh, fun fact, I barely slept more than an hour last night, if even that. So I am very, very tired, and, um, I'm gonna be even more tired on the plane and once I get to Orlando. Thank God once I get off the plane, it's just grab my shit, get an Uber, get my way onto the hotel, check in, and I can go the fuck to bed. Um, probably after plugging everything in, but that's what I meant by it's going to be a very long day. So far it has been a very long day. I did my last bit of my exam. I'm currently back, heading back south to home. Um, stopping by real quick. Um, then I'm headed off down south. Uh, I'm going to be there way earlier than I anticipated. Or I might just chill at home for a bit. I don't know yet. I guess I'll find out. Here comes the beautiful big hill. Before 
question is, are you ready? So I just got back home. It is currently 11.39 a.m. <laughs> it feels like it's been a lot longer than it has. Um, I'm probably going to chill, charge up my phone for the long journey down south and the flight. And because uh, I'm going to need it for my hotel at the airport and for the Uber. I'm going to need it for the rest of the night. So get it, go ahead, get it back charged up, even though it's only at like half. Um, yikes. <laughs> Guys, I am so excited. Although I don't think I've mentioned this. I don't know how many people are going to mention this. Going to Florida is also very scary because Florida is like right now center of the Delta variant for COVID. I'm going to be extremely careful. Uh, for those who know, I've already had COVID once in the past back in last November and I had my vaccine back in March so I'm I'm actually because of those antibodies I'm actually in a better position than people that are just vaccinated but it's still good to be careful because the Delta variant you know it, it's a big unknown as far at least for me um but I've been told the vaccines aren't um always you know completely capable of preventing it so we have to hope and pray we're not going to be fighting concrud today that would absolutely suck so i'll let you guys know once we're back on the road it is getting fucking hot and humid like i i can't even wow so we're leaving it is currently 1 31 p.m a little bit later than i wanted but eh, i had some things to do so time to get hit in the road this time to the airport grand rapids here i come you better get ready. I'm going to have a lot of time to kill at the airport, but um, I know how painful going through it can be. So hopefully it's very um, clean this time. I'm going to make sure I'm all ready before I go rushing into everything. So anyway, guys, I'll give you an update once we're um, near the airport or just on the way. I don't know. I'm ready to get out of this dinky town, though. Let's go to Grand Rapids. Off to Grand Rapids. We are getting mighty close to Grand Rapids and I mean, it's not a lot. Most of it's behind me, you can't see it, but there is a fair bit of traffic. God, I am getting so freaking tired. Like, when I get to that hotel, I am going to pass out. <laughs> Here we are, this little airport. Head on in, I guess. You're on a list now. <laughs> Don't get on a plane intoxicated. You should have taken a Xanax with no person. I'm fucked asleep. Yeah. But 90% of the people under the age of 30 that live in Grand Rapids are like. We got the police coming. For real? Probably. She almost made it. They're so close. And she just lost it. She got until they landed. Are there police up there? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I just need you to remain seated for a couple minutes more, okay? <laughs> we didn't make it. We're waiting half an hour and no luggage yet. 
It, it is 9.22, we landed almost about 40 minutes ago. There's still no luggage here and I am so fucking tired. If you arrived on flight 4289 Columbus, we have a carousel change. Nope, not carousel me. Carousel 11 is now for I'm Columbus. Waiting. Which is just past I mean, I guess the giant airport, but come on. Why did it take like 40 minutes? What the hell? So, this is what I got. Honestly, it's really nice for having it for one person. And, just got the view outside. Very interesting hotel design. But I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty. And I have till 11 tomorrow morning, so I'm going to enjoy this as much as I can. Although, realistically, I'm probably going to be going to bed really early. I don't even know if I want to deal with that right now. I have this. Oh, that bed is so much nicer than mine at home. Well, yeah.